Yo, what's going on, buddy? It's Fun and Fire here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to run the gun tight doubles offense and formation out of the Oakland Raiders playbook. Now, this formation is very underrated, I think, in the game. A lot of people don't think it's one of the top formations in the game, although you can really just run this scheme and easily win Madden games. This formation kills any type of a defense that people try to run now. Starting off, I'm just going to go over my audibles, X, Zig Under, LB, Tight End Curl, and RB, Z Spot. Now, I'm also going to be going over the Flood Drive, as well as the Mesh Spot in this video. So, I'm just going to come out in the Zig Under like this, because I'm going to be on the left hash to start off now. I'm just going to come out in the uh, random zone coverage here. So, starting off, what the adjustments that I like to make just going to be putting B on an out route, block your running back, and put X on an in route. So our setup looks like this. Kind of an odd looking setup, but it's going to be very effective here. What I'm going to do is motion X out a couple steps, and we're looking here. Just hit X right there, and easy gain now. That was definitely a match coverage, which is sort of annoying because you want that A route is a little bit slow, even though it does look super fast. So... You kind of want a super fast guy right here on this out route if you're going to run this play. So again, here's our setup. Block RB, put B on an out route, and put X on an in route. Motion X out, hike the ball, and B is wide open. I'm just going to hit him immediately. Don't want to put yourself in the position where you have to make a read late in the down. You're getting pressured. You never know what's going to happen. So if you have that out route open, I suggest taking it immediately. And any you can also put X on this drag. Motion out, motion snap him. Oh shoot, that was actually a nice zone. I wasn't expecting him to jump that, but a lot of times if they're running like just man coverage, you can just put them on a slant or a drag motion them out and hike it. So I'm just gonna run it like this. Put them on that slant. And you guys see, that's what I was going for right there. Set up simple like that. Obviously the quick read if you're into that. So again, just gonna show us our setup one more time. Putting B on that out route now. I do have another setup after this play, so hike it here, looking, A is going to get open, and we're just going to rack catch that after pass leading to the right. Now that was Patrick Peterson's side, so he did actually almost make a play on the ball, but he's a very high overall corner with some great zone coverage, so it is where it is. Um, my next setup, what I'm going to do is just put B on a streak. I'm going to completely motion this X receiver over, block my running back, and I'm just going to either leave X on that route for a late developing route or you can put him on a drag I'm gonna leave him because I actually like this sort of reverse zig and it pulls out that zone completely you guys see Kittle is wide open that corner it's just sitting on that X route because he has no clue what's happening so again streak B block your running back motion X over and you can pretty you can motion hike him or just leave actually I don't think you can motion hike him so wait for him to sit, sit there and you guys see that linebacker is going to fall for it. Kittle is wide open. No way that anybody's jumping that unless he's using, which we have. If he is using, we can get X open late, or we can get maybe the post over the middle on a quick low ball or something if he is playing the middle of the field responsibility. So I'm going to show you guys this one last time here. And A is wide open. Just pass lead that's the outside and possession catch on the sideline. Easy gains right there, and that is probably my favorite one of my favorite setups that's just a money play that i like to pull out let's say it's a third and long and late in the game i'm not going to run this early because i don't want to give away one of my big money passing plays in the plays plus we got some other great plays in this formation so here we got the quick base now usually i'd be running this to the other side for more space so i'm just going to flip it for the first time but I'm not going to flip it every time because it doesn't matter too much and obviously that slot corner is on the left which will help a little bit Pretty much our only setup is just going to be slide right and just motion Goodwin over. Hike him right there and you guys see, look at the amazing blocking that I got out of that. Very easy hole for me to read and the blocking is just amazing out of this play. I'll show you guys again. Block Pettis and a lot of times the corner, oh shoot I'm in the wrong play. But you guys see there we actually got Goodwin wide open so I guess it kind of worked out for me. Anyway, like I was saying, a lot of times if I motion this B receiver over, that cornerback is not going to shadow. You guys see he started to shadow before he went away. So it's just pretty much reading one hole, reading 
if you're going to cut it up field or you're going to bounce it off to the outside. Pretty simple now. I like to running it to the other to the wide side because you just have more space to operate, but this definitely does still work. Now you guys see this is all Madden and the 49ers O-line is definitely not the run blocking type that's going to have so, a ton of success now, but it still is able to work there you see i see i'm just getting my life shared away so i'm gonna try to flip it again here right, just run it again here motion b over hiking about right there and i might have made a bad read and just seems like there's a linebacker there cutting me off but trust me when i say this this run does kill again i'm running to the slot corner but you guys see we get shedded immediately the 49ers line is not doing me justice right now but like I said, trust me, this run does work in every game mode pretty much. Regs, maybe not, but you get some a ton of times you're going to have blocking like that. Perfect read to make up the hole and just very simple. So it's going to take us to our next play. It's going to be this tight end curl now. Usually I'm running this to the wide side, but it's not really going to matter too much. The setup that I like to run is streaking Y, put A on a drag, and then put X on the curl or or put b on a curl excuse me and put or put them on a deep in route i like the curls because i kind of like to have routes on all sides of the field here we get maybe a zone a deep zone so here x is going to get wide open that route kills man coverage which is one of the reasons that this play is so popular at least for me running this play i've had tons of success killing the man coverage and if you have like a route cam or something you can just put this guy on a zig motion him out and do work so if it's man coverage I might just run something like this where I can have those two man beating routes on the field here we get X wide open for the easy dot gets right over the zone and that's running it on the short side now a tip that I like to do out of this play if I'm running it to the short side put a on a drag really quickly because if you guys didn't know make sure to go check out I have a tip with this with the same play with the gun tie offset tight end y out hb swing very similar thing it's just this slot guy is going to be on the corner where you just put the drag this if the, there's any pretty much outside zone on the left side is going to bite down on the drag and the corner is going to get open against almost every zone so i might even run a setup like this drag slant underneath motion him out and motion hike him so i'm just going to take the drag here it's completely over the top now this like i said you, if you're running it like that, you might want that slot guy on the corner, but obviously you can't do that. I'm just going to head flip the play one time here to show you guys that you do get a little more space on the outside. So again, here's our setup. Motion X out, hike him, and B is going to get wide open. Pass that to the right and easily gets the feet in bounds. Now Patrick Peterson did jump that a little like I was talking about earlier, but it doesn't matter. So again, run our setup. And hit George Kittle wide open in the flats. You're going to take that four yards every time. Don't want to risk anything as well throwing that corner, especially on the short side. So I'll show you guys one last time here. And Garoppolo zips it to Goodwin wide open for the corner route. So that is my tight end curl setup. Plays definitely ran more for me against man coverage than zone, but it still does work effectively in zone. Anyway, it's going to take us to our Z-spot setup. Now, this is a very simple setup for me. All I'm going to be doing is, is streaking or fading B. I just streak him. Then I'm going to smart route this A route. So, just click A and then RB to put him on the smart route. You guys see it's a little bit deeper now. And it can get over maybe those cloud flats that are going to bite down on that table route. You, I'm going to leave Samuel on this hitch if you want. You can put him on a drag to head over. But then we get two zones in the flat. It's kind of pointless. I'm just going to leave him on this hitch in case there's no vert hook over here. I can lowball that in case nothing else is open. So here looking, A is going to get over that zone wide open. You guys see, even though he wasn't even really guarding the RB route, I just wait a little bit and Kittle gets wide open anyway. So again here, here's our setup. Just smart out A and streak B. Hike the ball here. And I had A open, but I just couldn't get the ball off there. Now it is does actually take a little bit longer to develop, which is kind of annoying, but I usually don't have a problem getting the ball off. 
here against match coverage we still get George Kittle open that corner out it's definitely faster than the one on zig under that I was showing you guys earlier which is very good to have it's pretty much a similar look I'm just gonna put Y on a drag this time hike the ball here and a we barely get that over the top although that was a risky throw probably could have hit the flats or the drag there that was a, probably a misread but you guys see we end up getting the completion anyway if you want you can also put this some another setup that i like to do is just put our b on this wheel route put b on a b on a flat so here's our setup something similar to this we're looking for the high low with a and b and if it's over the top i'm hitting our b on this wheel pretty much leaves the other side the same so here i am looking Oh, I had B wide open for a huge gain, but we end up getting pressured. The thing about this play is you're not really going to max protect, which is kind of bad if you're pacing godly pass rushers. So again here, our B is going to be wide open, and that's an ending up being a touchdown. But you guys saw how long that took to develop. You're definitely going to want to run that setup on the short side for the wheel route to be a lot faster. Because if we're running it on the wide side, we're not really going to get it open. So I'll just show you guys one last time here. Set up. And, and we're just going to hit RB in the flats there. And that's pretty much my Z spot setup. So now I'm going to be heading into our mesh spot and flood drive setups now. These are two plays that I don't really run as much as the other plays that in the formation. But they're still effective occasionally. So mesh spot and this flood drive. So... As far as this goes, you're definitely going to want to run these plays on the wide side. So as far as this goes, our setup is just going to be streaking B. And then I'm going to leave that X route. I like it and just leave A on that drag. So pretty simple setup again. We're looking for Y against a cover two. It's going to kill it. I like to motion the running back over for some extra protection. You guys see Y is wide open. Look how that zone bit down on the drag at the last second, leaving our corner out wide open he tried to pass him up to that safety or that corner in the deep blue but you guys saw that he ended up being uh already taken by that streak leaving him wide open so again just block the running back and i'm just gonna take a there although why was getting a, that corner was getting open late even if i didn't throw to a but just showing you guys the play you can just take a if you want so again here i actually forgot to put b on that route but you guys see actually it's a riskier throw but he still gets open obviously you want that go route to make that corner a little bit more backed off so again here just block your running back put b on a streak here i'm getting pressured a little bit but i step up in the pocket and hit y and that can even end up being a touchdown now something you can do also on this play is just going to be motion that b receiver out so come out in the same setup motion pettis out a couple of steps, hike the ball here. Here we had match. So I, was, I had the low ball to X, but if it's he's running a cover three, cover four pumps, then you're not really going to be able to pass out of this because that route, that corner route was so slow, but you guys saw how bad it beat the zones again here. I'm just taking A wide open for the gain, and you can do some work after the play as well. Kittle is a monster. And yeah, it's pretty much the full setup. Anyway, it's going to take us to our last play of the video. It's going to be this flood drive play. Now, this is a very play, great play stock. All I really do is block my <clears throat> excuse me, block my running back, and I'm just going to motion Goodwin out. Motion snap him, and you guys can see I can hit X early. That's the thing I was trying to show you guys earlier on that other play, but we ended up throwing the pick. Anyways, again, just block your running back and hike the ball you can put b on a streak to make him a little bit slower or a little bit faster because that fade takes a little bit longer and it doesn't really occupy that corner because by the time he gets over there it's just so slow so again put b on a streak block your running back motion him over literally the same setup as the other play i showed you guys so again i see he's covered i'm just gonna hit a good one on the drag we'll take our drag all day if it can end up being seven plus yards we will definitely take that again Put B on the streak, block the running back, motion him out a couple of steps, hike the ball, and Y is wide open. Even against the match coverage, he still got open against the safety. So that is that. It's very. It's I forgot to mention that this uh, this is the same corner as the one in Z spot. I do believe. 
which definitely means he's gonna be able to kill the zones and this is with the receiver so i'm just gonna take that all day you guys see just a high low read very simple drag corner concept but the corner does kill man if he's running it and you want to mix up your coverage he thinks you're running z spot tight end curl but this time you have uh the other route out of the slot i had y open i just took a sack there bad by me but i'm gonna show you guys one last time here before i conclude the video block running backs should be in motion amount hike the ball so I'm going to roll out, throw that laser, and we end up getting a huge gain out of the play. So if you guys did enjoy these tips, please make sure to leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for some more Madden 20 content. And go check out some of my other videos. I have some bangers, full play breakdowns, one play touchdowns, full ebooks, full formation schemes, full blitzes and even some great coverage tips as well so make sure to subscribe to the channel for some more videos let me know down in the comments below any videos you would like to see next peace i'm out of here